You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. This week we are talking about wisdom, the gift of the Holy Spirit. But before we get there, let's pray together the Holy Hail Holy Queen, which Therese is challenging us to pray and memorize this month. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. So yesterday we reminded ourselves that we are called to be saints, but only God can make us saints. And he will do that through the gift of himself, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So remember that Wisdom is one of these gifts, but it's not maybe what we think of as wisdom right now. There's the wisdom of the world, and there's also way beyond that, way bigger than that, the wisdom of God. So how do we access the wisdom of God? Well, in order to do that, we need to do two simple things. We need to be grounded in what is true, what is true And we also need to make sure that we are acting as God acts in every situation. So let's start with what is true. So there are three principles that are true no matter what situation you are in. And those three principles are this. Number one, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It has to be about Jesus. Jesus is died for your sins. He paid the price. He rose from the dead and he desires you to join him in heaven. That needs to be something that we live, breathe, and eat every moment of our lives. It is about Jesus. He has saved me. Number two, and this is especially important as we encounter people that we might not like, it is a truth that every single person in this world was created in the image and likeness of God. It is a truth that every single person is a beloved creation, that God died for them as well, that God desires them as much as he desires you. So because of this, no person is a throwaway person. No person is beyond our notice and attention because they are not beyond the notice and attention of God. So number one, it's all about Jesus. Number two, each person is infinitely valuable. And then the third thing that we need to hold on to with both hands is this strong belief that God loves me, that he also desires what is best for me. Even if it feels like the world is just so unfair and bad things are happening, we hold on to this fact that God loves me and he desires what is best for me. Okay, so if we can practice these three truths, even repeat them to ourselves, it's all about Jesus. Each person is infinitely valuable and worthy of love, and God loves me and desires what is good for me, if we can hold those things in our mind, then every decision that we make will be a wise decision. So that is what we need to believe and have in our mind. We act with wisdom when we act like God acts. And I know that feels like a big confusing thing. How does God act? Well, Jesus tells us in the gospel that God is love. It's what he is. God is love. 
God is that desire that wants something good for someone else, even if it's uncomfortable or hard for me. God is love. So we act with wisdom when each one of our actions and our thoughts and our words is done in love. And that's big and that's hard. And I'm not sitting here claiming that I do it perfectly. In fact, I guarantee that my own kids are sitting around the breakfast table listening right now, rolling their eyes at me and saying, mom, you have a long way to go. And it's true. We all do. But this is how we become truly wise by holding these truths in our heart and making sure that everything that leaves us, our actions, our words, and our thoughts are done in love. And so my challenge for you today is to turn to the person next to you and see if you can remember those three truths I told you. Okay. Should I repeat them now just to help you? Okay. So here they are. Number one, it's all about Jesus. He died for you, saved you from your sins. Number two, each person was created in the image and likeness of God. And number three, God really does truly desire what is best for you and you can trust him. So repeat those three to the person sitting next to you in your own words and work on really nailing those into your memory. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. This week, we are offering our big warehouse clearing sale. We are retiring products. We are offering a whole mess of books for just $5. We're doing all sorts of things to clear out space for some new projects that we are working on. So don't miss out. This ends Friday and it will not come back again. Find a direct link to our shops and the specific collections on sale in the notes for this podcast episode. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit SpokeStreet.com 